sure you don't want to do any sewing. Um, oh, still can't see you. Too much is it? Nope. Get that nice, but can we go now? I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. Come on. actually suit me, what do you reckon? Yeah, they're yeah, cool. Okay. Can I get a juice of water and two muffins, please? take me away. I was trying to stop him going. You don't have to protect him, Lily. I'm not. Stop making out like he's done something terrible. He only came to say sorry. Maybe you got it wrong, Tracy. She did. Okay, okay, it just looked different from where I was standing. Either way, we still have to let Matt and Christy know that Steve Kettler's back. You do that, I'll contact the police. No! You know your dad is not allowed to see you, Lily. He stopped drinking now, he told me. He's still under a restraining order. He broke the law by trying to get in contact with you. I'm obliged to report that. Lily? What do you reckon? I know what I saw. But I don't think she'd lie to me either. Right. You contact Matt and Christie. I'll phone the police. So I never even got the chance to talk to him. That's a shame. He's not going to turn up here, is he? I mean, he was terrified last time. He was scared too. Why? What'd he do? Came back to get me and the girls. He was off his face. Tried to kick the door down and then smash the window. It took three policemen to carry him into the van. You can't trust parents. Yeah, I mean, freaking you out like that, then running away. That's not what proper dads do. None of you have got dads, and you don't know mine. You could have been a bit nicer. What does freaking out mean? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Scaring someone. Looking for photos of Dad. Do you think maybe it might be better if you forgot about him? I mean, he forgot about you for long enough. It's only because he got ill when Mum died. He wasn't ill, Lily. He only drank because he had to sit there day after day watching Mum die. And he couldn't do anything about it. Mike. Can I help you? Only if you know the answer to this question. Right. Why do people like scaring other people? Well, probably because it's fun to see the surprise on their face when you do something unexpected. Does the person being scared like it too? Mostly. And when they find out that it's not real, they're so relieved that it usually makes them laugh. So if I jumped out at someone and scared them, would they laugh? Only if they knew you well enough to know that you were really joking. But joking's not the same as scary, is it? No, what I meant was... <laughs> no, no, what I meant was that, that the person has to know you well enough to understand that, that you're, you're not really trying to scare them. So don't jump out at strangers? Exactly. Ah! Frank! Sorry, sorry, it was him. Um... I came to get 
this. What were you trying to do anyway? Getting back for scaring me. By jumping out from behind a door. We could do better than that. Come on. Well, look, I wouldn't have a clue, Lily. He's your dad. All right. Where would you look if your dad turned up and then did a runner? Oh, I don't know. Pub, police station, hospital, gutter. He <laughs> stopped drinking. He told me. Oh, it must be true then. Not you too. Well, look, if your dad's really off the booze, then he's probably going to meetings. What do you mean, meetings? Well, they're a really big deal for people trying to get straight. They happen all over the country. When my dad was on the road, he used to go online and find one to go to. What did they do there? Talk, I suppose. Support each other. <laughs> did it work? I'm still here, aren't I? <sighs> well, hey, just because it didn't work for my dad doesn't mean it won't work for yours. How about this? No, but I have one. <laughs> this? Mm. Half it. Fancy kicker back. I'm sorry, I'm um, um, busy. Busy, you know. Oh. Alright, bye. See you. What are you two up to? I oh, know, is that glitter? No. Should we, um, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's two. Two meetings. 12 30 and 1 o'clock. The rest is tonight. So? Take me into town. Check him out. See if my dad's there. Well, look, you don't even know if he's still in the area. Please. I'm sure Tracy thinks he's still trying to kidnap me. She won't let me out by myself. Well, she's just worried about you. I've got to find him. I'm sure if your dad turned up, you'd want to speak to him. <laughs> look, we're just going shopping, not white water rafting. I just don't like the thought of you going back into town. I need to get my confidence back. Otherwise, I'll get a thing about going out. Gina agreed. OK, just be careful, OK? Make sure you stick together. Yep, and we'll even hold hands when we cross the street. You're not our mum, OK? I'll be fine. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Let's just go. He's not going to show. It's not quite half past yet. He's always late for stuff. What are you going to say to him anyway? Check if he's all right. See if he's ever coming back for me or the girls. Do you want some advice? Write down everything you think you want to say to him and stick it in a drawer and forget about it. Is that what you did? No, but you should, because it's going to drive you crazy whichever way it goes. What are you doing here? Seeing you. Lily, I can't. I've got to get to a meeting. But I want to talk to you. I can't do this now. Look, me being in town, it isn't about you. I, I know that sounds harsh, but it's all about me trying to stay sober. But, but Dad... Until I'm on top of it, I'm, I'm no use to anyone. Especially my family. I don't care. Yeah, what I do. Part of the cure is saying sorry to people you've hurt. You know, you were top of my list. You've got a list? There's quite a few people I've done wrong by, yeah. And I'm here for a few days to put that right, and that's all I was trying to do this morning, you know? Say... say sorry. I can't, I can't get caught up in your stuff, Lil. I'm... I'm just not ready yet. I'm sorry. Leave it. I can't, Saf. I need some answers. He's not gonna... You go if you want. I'm staying. Sure. Hey, by the way, there's some sweets in the tent if you want some. No, I'm all right, thanks. I'm going to save myself for lunch. I'll have some. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, boys. <laughs> Lily's gone out without me, so I've got nothing to do. I'm good. You can help me get my own back on Toby and Frank. He's leaving now. 
believe in doing this. Oh, I don't got that yet. <laughs> Three, two, one, just pick up. <laughs> That's a, a nice sight. Yeah, we thought we thought we'd help you. Oh well, thank you, girls. Do you know what? Not the worms. It's the snails and the slugs that do the most damage, yeah? Okay. Not put it in the bucket nowhere near me. You know what though? I would. Yes! Three. <laughs> Come in. Toby and to go on that side. Okay. Come on then. Why are you laughing? You're supposed to laugh. Now that you know they won't really try and scare you. <laughs> I feel sick. So go in there and get it over with. Change my mind. No. You've nagged me stupid and dragged me halfway across town for this. You're not bottling out now. I thought you said it was a waste of time. Well, until you talk to him, you're never going to know that. I don't know what to say. OK, he dumps you when your mum just died. He, he turns up a gazillion years later, spits out a sorry and then runs. I'm sure you'll think of something. Why are you forcing me? Because nobody forced me. Lily. Why'd you do it? Dad. What? Why'd you disappear? I, t I told you, I'm only here for a couple of days. No. When we got put into care. OK, I, I know how that must have looked. I thought you died. Do you get what that's like? Losing mum and then thinking I'd lost you? I was in a bad place, all right? <sighs> to get myself straight. Oh, it's always about you, isn't it? You haven't even asked about Poppy and Rosie yet. Where do you think they are? Do you even care? Of course I care. My friends are right. You are rubbish, Dad. And I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! That's enough, that's enough. Let's go. Sorry, who are you? What's it to you? <laughs> you trying to scare me? Why would I want to do that? What can I do for you, girls? Toby and Frank told Liam that there was a tin of sweets, so T opened it and a scary face with glitter popped out. And you're telling me this because... I have a question. Well, go on then, shoot. At what? What's your question? What, what, what am I supposed to shoot at? No, 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 no not that question. The, the one before it. The, the one about tea and the glitter. Oh, what made the fake tin of sweets scary? OK, well, the fact that T was expecting it to be full of sweets and instead something unexpected, you know, Jumped out and surprised her. Surprises are scary. Yeah, they can be. Boom! Why'd you do that? I don't know. So how was Lily's today? Fine. Fine? Yeah, fine. Did you talk about her dad showing up? Of course we did. She's really unsettled by it, isn't she? Well, wouldn't you be? I don't know what I'd have done if my dad came looking for me. I never even knew him. Yeah, I can't imagine my dad suddenly showing up either. I'm worried about herself. We've got a good thing going, me, her and Cam. We're a family now. Yeah, well, I think I'll stick to flying solo. Family ties, it's not worth the risk. Nearly. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh. Come on, T. Oh, oh, come on, T. <laughs> um, 
I'm bored. I don't want to play anymore. Uh, me neither. Do you mind? Whatever. Where are you going? Why don't you come and sit with us? Yeah. I've got to ask you a question. Okay. Um, what's the difference between manga and anime? Well, manga is a Japanese comic. If the anime is based on the manga, then I would probably finish comic books. Hi. Oh, hey, Jane, I'm here. Take my seat. Oh, thank you, uh, Toby. And anime is like animation or cartoon. <laughs> right. So, um, probably say that manga is like anime in certain ways, but that's only because. No! It's I know we should have fruit, but apples never really do it for me when I've got the miseries. Can I have a look? You look like you're having a good time. Always did. Before. Mum died. Look, I'm sorry I didn't believe you about your dad this morning. It's okay. I just didn't know who he was. I thought he was going to hurt you. I wasn't lying. I was really trying to stop him from going. I know you wouldn't lie to me. I just got a fright, that's all. I couldn't bear it if anything happened to you. I've seen him again, Tracy. What? We were out and I spotted him. So me and Seth followed him back to his B&B. And she let you? Told her I'd do it whether she came or not. And I made a promise not to tell anyone and you can't either. I'm not sure, Lily. She went out. Do you want some toast? No, I've got to get going. Who's in this? Oh. Shame it all went well for her. Yeah, it was all right until he showed up. No, I meant for Lily and her family. Look, I know how much she means to you, Tracy, but we've got to focus on what's best for Lily. I and mean, this isn't about us. I know. Of course you do. In there, Dad. I don't hate you. And I get it if you don't want to see me again. I won't come back. I promise. I was that best part of the night trying to not drink that. It was my fault, wasn't it? No. Nobody makes me drink but me. And you didn't. It's for you. I don't need new clothes. Yeah, you do. What do I owe you? Mm, the Count's give me clothing allowance. Cheers, love. Right. Why don't you go have a shower and then we can get some breakfast? Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't. Look, Dad, I know you're not sticking around, but it wouldn't kill you to share a fry up. Okay. Come on.
Come on, Gina. I mean, wouldn't it be great to get her own back on them? Oh, definitely. Uh, nobody's asking you. Mike, Hi, we're yeah. supposed to be the adults. No, we've asked you. Oh, yeah, but we're going to be scary ones. How much is gone? 30 quid. I told you, we just went shopping. And she told me she'd seen her dad. Lily's taken some money from Cam, and I'm pretty sure she's given it to her dad. Any ideas? Why did I bother? I should have known I'd end up on the wrong side of this situation. Huh? I feel a bit more human. Yeah, you look it too. All right, cheeky. <laughs> you always did know how to cheer me up, didn't you? I should be making sure you're all right. I mean, that's my job as your dad. <sighs> right mess I've made of it, haven't I? Sorry, Lil. Come here. I promise I'll make it up to you. I'm Rosie and Poppy. Why would you want to live with me? Because you're my dad. My family. <laughs> Lily. You shouldn't be here. Tracy, uh, And you shouldn't have stolen from Cam. You told me that was your money. Don't have a go at her. She did it for you. Come on, we're leaving. You should too. Because I'm going to have to call the police and let them know you're here. Tracy! It's my job. No, I don't want any trouble. You're not going to get any as long as you leave. Let's go home. You should go with her. Dad, I don't want to. I want to go with you. Yeah, but it's not going to happen like this. This is what you really want. Let's do it properly. Is that why you're here? To get Lily back? No. Sorry, Lil. You should have told me Lily had seen her dad. And so should you. I'm sorry. I thought he'd gone. He has now. Look, it was me or the police. I had to. Look, Tracy and I are just trying to do what's best for you. I know. But he's my dad. My real family. And you can't blame me for trying to get back with him. I get it, Lily. I'd have done the same thing. You don't get it. Either of you. He's got to start drinking again, and I'll never get him back. So how's the family situation? Complicated. Well, do you see my point about family ties? So why'd you get involved with it all, then? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to see happy ending for a change. I think we all would. Lily, I've made some lunch. And I need you. Please let me come with you. I won't be in any trouble, I promise. I can't, Lily. I'm not ready yet. We're family, Dad. We're meant to be together. I can cook and I can clean until you get better. And stop saying no because I'll keep running away until you say yes. All right. All right, I'll come and get you. Where? Can you get to the community centre? Yep. I'll meet you there. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Are you all right, Lily? How did you know I was here? Your dad told us. Where is he? He's not coming. Dad. 
Dad? Look, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... Why would you tell him? Because it was the right thing to do. That's how I'm going to do everything from now on. I want you back, Lil. Dad. When I applied to get the restraining order lifted and try and get custody, uh, will you support me? Are you going to give us any reason not to? Well, if you're talking about the booze, then no, I've, I've given it up. Keeping it that way. It's time I faced up to my responsibilities. Of course we'll support you. It won't be instant, Lily. These things take time. I don't care. I've got my dad. Don't cry, Tracy. You'll always be like a big sister to me. Oh, no. But he's your dad. A real family. That's more important than anything. Bye, Dad. Yeah. See you soon. Lost our can. We never really had her. We just giving her back. Happy ending. Lunch! <laughs> 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 <laughs>